What is Vitus? Vitus was initially uh, developed as a MySQL scaling solution at YouTube, but it has evolved into uh, a cloud native database. Vitus is a CNCF graduated project. It was donated by Google to CNCF in uh, January of 2018 uh, as an incubating project. And it graduated from CNCF in November of 2019. It was the eighth project to graduate from CNCF and the first storage project. What do we mean when we say that Vitus is a cloud native database? Stateless storage in Kubernetes is not an easy problem to solve, but Vitus had a head start because it had been uh, built to work in Borg, which was the precursor to Kubernetes at Google. And because of that, Vitus was ready to run in Kubernetes even before a version 1.0 of Kubernetes. And some of the features in Vitus that made this possible are uh, the way in which Vitus runs MySQL instances in a primary replica configuration so that when uh, there are events like a pod deletion, if Kubernetes decides to kill a pod, then you can fail over to a replica without uh, any disruption to the traffic. The other uh, feature of Vitus that we want to highlight is its scalability. Vitus is massively scalable and we have not so far hit the limits of how much you can, you can scale it uh, as long as you keep adding hardware. There are uh, Vitus implementations which are running literally millions of queries per second uh, with no problems. Vitus is also highly available, and this is a result of the primary replica configuration in which Vitus clusters typically run, and uh, the seamless way in which you can fail over from a primary to a replica in case of uh, unexpected downtime. Vitus is right now MySQL compatible. It runs against uh, any MySQL flavor, community, enterprise, Cortona, MariaDB, etc. Uh, it uh, does not work with Postgres as of now. Vitus serves millions of queries per second in production at various uh, companies. Some of the biggest users of Vitus are uh, JD.com and Slack, and they uh, both have very high traffic uh, instances. JD is the largest uh, Chinese retailer, which means that it is the largest online retailer in the world. And Slack, uh, as most of you know, is a collaboration tool that is serving many, many large enterprises. Some of the Vitus users run it uh, on their own hardware. Many of them run it in the cloud and some of them run it in Kubernetes. And Vitus can run in any of those configurations. Let's cover a few key concepts uh, in Vitus. The first one is key space. In a traditional database uh, architecture, people usually have a monolithic database. In Vitesse, you break that monolithic database into segments, each of which is called a key space. And uh, a key space can itself consist of multiple individual databases, but it is a logical database. And a Vitesse cluster can contain multiple key spaces. So multiple logical databases, each of which may contain more than one physical database. Uh, the next concept we should understand is that of shard. A shard is uh, pretty much the sm a smaller component of key space. So key space, if you think of it as a logical database, a shard is the way you split up tables in that logical database across individual MySQL instances in order to get the scalability that uh, people are looking for. 
Vitess all depends on a, a topology server, a distributed key value store that serves as a central uh, location for Vitess components to discover each other. Let's look at the Vitess architecture. In this picture, we are showing N shards and all of these shards together comprise a key space or a logical database. And it consists of multiple physical databases. And for each of those physical databases, we run a component called a VT tablet, which takes over the management of those physical databases in terms of doing backup restores and uh, providing protection against um, unanticipated queries that might overload the database and things like that. Traffic to the Vitus cluster is routed through uh, another component called VT gate. This serves as a gateway to the cluster and applications talk to VT gate, which then decides where to route individual queries. VT gate speaks the MySQL protocol, which means that applications can interact with it as if it were a single MySQL instance, and it provides the logical uh, single database view that Vitess gives you across uh, the shards. There is also a control component called VTCTLD, and this is a, a daemon process that uh, can be used to manage the cluster and serves as an entry point to various cluster management functions. Next up, we will uh, show you demos of some interesting things, features, new or otherwise in Vitess. We'll start with uh, showcasing the MySQL compatibility and then move on to vReplication, online schema changes, and automatic failovers.